And Britt Hume has tried to force Tiger Woods into becoming a Christian again, that in a moment, but first a very different kind of sports story. Those who knew his work need not be told about its quality. Those who were not fortunate enough to know him personally need to be told about his quality. A dear friend of mine and I were on the phone this morning. We hired Rory Marcus to be my weekend sportscaster at an L.A. TV station 20 years ago. We've known him that long, but ultimately not that well. We were trying to decide why he was so special to us. And finally, we came up with the truth that in a business full of prima donnas and the thin skin that I'll confess to being each and usually both, Rory's biggest complaint ever, whether he was out on some crazy feature assignment for us in 1990, where he was doing the play-by-play -play of baseball's L.A. Angels and basketball's USC Trojans last year, his biggest complaint was a knowing smile and a shake of the head, and then he'd go and do his job and do it well and enjoy the hell out of it. And my friend and I were fighting back tears. Rory Marcus died last night, suddenly, apparently a heart attack. He was 54. People like him not only have a great gift, they are a gift to the rest of us.